your mind when Tobey picks up that second foul on Saturday and you know you're about to hit it? Um, just being mentally prepared. Um, you know, I knew it was going to be a physical, tough game playing in the Alabama environment. Um, you know, I was just mentally preparing myself when I saw that. Like, you know, I'm going to go in here. I just got to, you know, do my thing, be strong, physical. And I thought I did that. Seeing Southie drop the play in the huddle, I mean, what? Is that like a normal thing for you guys to see? And, and when that happened, were, were, was it like natural or does he do that? Uh, that's person who's drawing it up, yeah. uh, but what's it called? He talks about um, what to do all the time in plays. I'm saying, Coach, hey, let's do this, and he'll draw it up. But seeing Santi do that, it was like, it was awesome. I mean, just watching it happen, like, and Coach was totally okay with it because Santi knows what he's doing, been here five years. Uh, he probably still remembers um, the plays that he ran as a freshman, um, and he just, he does it like that, and it was just so sick to watch and just seeing how, you know, Coach was like, totally like locked in on it saying yeah I'll do that and we executed it and it was it was just super sick. What does it say about y'all as a team that you're able to win in such a tough environment when Dalton you know isn't at his best? It just shows that we got um, so many like winning factors. I mean Shaq played an awesome game for us. Um, you know we I thought as a team we just did a great job um, just staying connected throughout the whole thing. Um, you know we went um, through some ups and downs. We had a Jones had that and one, which was huge for us. Um, and we just kept growing on that the game, just kept um, having that energy, and it just turned out great for us. JP, what's it like being a young guy when you see the second half, things aren't really going going your way, and it seems like the vets just are like, you know, we're just not going to lose. Yeah. What's, what kind of, you know, what, what impression does that make on you? Um, honestly, I'm just there to, you know, when we get into those media timeouts, and they're all sitting down, sometimes a little frustrated, just give them a nice little tap on the back, saying, yo, keep doing your thing. Um, and just keep picking them up. I um, mean, because sometimes it can be a little rough out there. Like we went through a little stretch where we were up, I think like nine or something, and then they, they came back and they were up by a little bit. And you know, we went to that timeout a little frustrated. Um, but you know, we were in there. Me, Cam, Cade, um, the rest of the team just tapping on everyone, saying, "Hey, you know, we got this. We're built different." Um, and it showed. And I feel like just being there for them is just the biggest thing. What's your assessment on Josiah Jordan James at that five spot, being a center, watching him play? It was awesome. At four, I mean, he had 14, 13 rebounds. Um, I'm, at the end of the game, I, mean, I gave him a big hug. I said, thank you. Like, that was just an amazing thing. And just seeing him at the five, never really seen that before. Um, but I thought, it was, I thought it was sick. How tough is it for a post defender in a physical game like that to defend at an elite level without falling into foul trouble? Oh, uh, that's definitely rough. I mean, you know, at the beginning, it didn't really go our way for fouls uh, wise. Um, Jones picked up two, Toe picked up two, I picked up one. Um, but I mean, we talked about that at halftime, you know, it's, it's, go, it's rough to do that. Um, in the second half, I thought post defense wise, we did a great job. Um, they had a couple um, dunks in the first half off of like drop offs um, from post. And then after that, I don't think they had any more drop off dunks um, just because we talked about it at half. Um, but yeah, it's definitely challenging. How much do you and Kate lean on each other day to day, just both being fresh and forward and trying to figure this thing out? Every day. Um, you know, yesterday, it was a rough one. We played defense, I think, for a whole hour straight. You know? um, and we were looking at each other like, man, what is this? What, what's about to happen? And so, I mean, we lean, we lean on each other all the time. Um, you know, both picking each other up when we need to. Um, and it's, you know, that's one of my best friends. And we just keep leaning on each other every day. You talked about Santi doing that play in the huddle. But what's it been like in practices with, with him this year? And that same kind of treatment toward everyone of coaching and teaching? And he, def he definitely shows hard love in practice. You know, if you mess up on something, he's going to get in your face and say, yo, like, don't do that again. Um, it's happened to me a couple of times, especially. <laughs> um, but he definitely shows, I mean, in practice, he'll, he picks up the clipboard sometimes and says, yo, do this, do that. And especially him and Josiah, just because they've been here for so long um, and just know how, uh, sorry, wow, I never said that. Uh, how Coach Barnes, um, <laughs> how Coach Barnes, you know, um, does the offense. Um, and they just, they've been through it. I mean, they've been through the hard, the hard times, the low times. Um, and they just know what they're doing. What's the biggest thing you've learned from Jonas this season? Um, just how hard being a, a big man is in this league. I mean, it's just a big, uh, strong league um, for bigs. I mean, you got so many great bigs in this league. Um, just the pace, especially. Pace is also extremely tough. You go extremely fast every single session. You know, you got to get up on screens. You got to, you know, pick and roll situations. Like, there's so many different stuff that he's got to learn from. He's just done a great job with that, um, especially on the defensive side, you know, making sure I get up in my spots, making sure I'm up to touch on ball screens, 
all sorts of different things, and he's just been an amazing mentor. What do you remember about that South Carolina loss? Um, honestly, just the locker room. Um, we were all in there very upset about it. Um, you know, you know they played the great, uh, they played a great basketball game, um, and now we're just ready for the next one. Anything else for JP? All right, thanks everyone. Thanks, JP. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.